San Jacinto Plaza has been a very popular place here in El Paso, Texas. Everything starts in 1827. This property belonged to Juan Maria Ponce Leon, who was a wealthy merchant of El Paso del Norte, which is now Ciudad Juarez, an original owner of El Paso, Texas. In 1881, the city of El Paso acquired this property from William T. Smith. This plaza became an important place for the border community and many events were performed like art, uh, concerts, political speeches, marches and social events. San Jacinto Plaza used to have many attractions but the main one was in the middle which was a pond filled with alligators, turtles, and fish. Because of these attractions, it was called Alligator Plaza, or in Spanish it would be Plaza de los Lagartos. These alligators arrived to the plaza in 1883, but they lasted until 1965, after the death of two alligators. The remaining gators were moved to the zoo, in 1972, the city brought them back, but this time they were protected with plastic chill. This event did not last long because a few years later they were moved once again and replaced with a fiberglass statue. Luis Jimenez was an artist born and raised in El Paso, Texas. It all started with him working for his father's electric neon sign making shop. Now his art can be seen in museums and universities across America here in El Paso. Jimenez created a statue in 1983 in remembrance of the alligators that used to swim in the pond at San Jacinto Plaza. Before the famous fabulous sculpture of the four alligators, the boy with the leaking boots stood in San Jacinto Plaza. Thereafter, the live alligators were removed from the area due to violent acts by vandals and replaced in 1995 with the new sculpture. Since the San Jacinto Plaza is now under renovation, protests have risen regarding the relocation. People wanted to remember history, such as the prank pulled on Texas Western professor Howard Quinn, where the alligator Oscar was mischievously placed in his office in 1952. Some unique features to San Jacinto Plaza include a major event that happened in August 1952. The area was used for revivals and used to preach the gospel to try and get rid of the evilness there. This led to a religious presence on the land. In 1954, the traditional lighting of the Christmas tree first started. The event included a real life size nativity scene, beside a mission replica, and a 70 foot tall tree. The ceremony lasted 20 minutes and was preceded by the annual holiday light parade. The memorable tradition is funded by the El Paso Community Foundation as well as other contributors. Now the annual celebration has been relocated to Cleveland Square Park following renovation delays. Nowadays, San Jacinto Plaza is under construction and does not have a deadline. The initial cost was $6 million, but the present delays are causing an increase every day. San Jacinto Plaza is a very famous place that brings people together. The biggest events are the celebration of the lights and Christmas parade. M maybe the alligators are not here anymore, but the border community will remember them in the statue forever. <laughs>